Hi my loves, so I am back today and I am going to be doing a uh, UK book covers versus US book covers. I am so scared of falling down. I just won't climb in the first place. I've wanted to do this for so long, it looks like so much fun. Um, play along in the comments as well and see if we have the same opinions on these book covers. Um, quick disclaimer, I am not judging the book, I am only judging the covers. And if I look down here, I am looking at the pictures on my laptop. I will put them on the screen here so you can play along too. And I'm just going to get right into it. So the first book is A Darker Shade of Magic by V.E. Schwab. This side is going to be the UK side and this side is going to be the US side. So I like the, the UK, I like that it has the main characters outline with the white background, the red coat and the black, white and grey floor. This tells me a lot about the story. Again, I'm not judging the story, but because I've read this book, I know that this cover goes really well with the story inside. The US covers, is they're still nice. I still do like it. It has the black and the red and then the kind of white background, but I just feel like it doesn't tell me as much of a story as the UK one. So I think I would have to go UK in this one because it's got all of the Londons, it's got the shadowed main character and I like the font better and I like that it's centred into the cover um, whereas the US one's just a little bit underwhelming for me but either way, um, an amazing book but I would pick the UK cover for this one. So that is one point UK, zero US. The next book is G Daisy Jones and the Six. And I have not read this book. The UK one has this centered white font against like a filtered colored background of the girl. I It gives me very 70s vibes and I believe that's when this book is set. Um, yeah, the, the tones they've chosen just make the font, the white font, stand out and it makes the girl's face on the cover, which I am not a huge fan of unless it's illustrated, um, it makes it look less severe and less like a just a girl's face on the cover. Whereas the US one has this kind of polaroid but twisted it's got the white big bit at the top and then the smaller bit at the bottom the title and the author's name with this girl's picture in the middle kind of toned down of um saturation i would say i love the font on this one i like the cleanness of the font i don't like the way they've done the photo i it just doesn't stand out to me it doesn't look like a story set from the 70s. I do believe it's set from the 70s. Um, I do not know where my version of it is. <laughs> I'm gonna check. Um, yeah, so 1979, so it's like the end of the 70s. So. I am going to pick the UK cover for this one because this grabs my attention more than the US edition. I think this gives me more of like a 70s vibe and yeah, so I have to read this but based solely on the cover, UK wins. So that's two UK and zero US. Um, so the next book is The Wicked Deep by Shay Earnshaw. This is the UK cover and this is the US cover. The UK cover has this kind of like ocean sea background with like the font, there is some birds, some moons and then the author's name at the bottom. I, I like this cover but I don't love it. 
whereas the US cover has this like deep rich navy background with these like the silver moon and a uh, silver pentagram and the bird sitting on the tree I just I think the silver stands out against the navy background so well like this shimmer and I think that the things that have been placed the moon the pentagram the bird all draw your eye to the cover so for this one I would have to go with the US cover because the UK cover is just a little bit underwhelming. I think that if they maybe, like the font doesn't stand out because they're still intertwining things in between on the back of the cover, um, making it look like the sea or the ocean. Um, whereas the navy kind of blended into a light blue on the US cover makes the silver stand out which immediately draws my eye. So for this, it is the US cover, and that means the UK has two and the US has one. So the next book is The Invisible Life of Adi LaVue. UK cover, US cover. So when I seen the US cover, I fell in love because I love the black on the rose gold. It's simple, there's like a, a star, sign behind it um and it just looks like so sleek and simple but then i got the uk cover um just one second i can reach it so this is the uk cover i love that they still included the um rose gold and the navy i like this color scheme the kind of little brightness of the blossoms but what really sold me on this uk cover was this this is just beautiful the navy with this rose gold kind of gold foiling um of look i love this book by the way i love this book by the way so i prefer this cover just simply because it has a little bit more going for it I love it underneath the dust jacket um and even though I like still like the simple and sleek of the US version I just think that this just a little bit more beautiful in my opinion and I love it without the dust jacket as well if you have not read this please read it it is amazing um yeah so that means that that's three for the UK and two for the US. I will put, I've actually forgotten now, so I will put like tally marks here or something so you know. And then I will. The next book is Cinderella is Dead by Kaylin Barron. And this is the US, this is the UK cover. I, I like the purple of the US cover. Um and the kind of darkness of it because it makes you feel like it's going to be like a darker retelling of the Cinderella story so I do really like that. The UK cover I love the blue. I love the blue. It has colour is blue so without even seeing the title my mind automatically makes the assumption of Cinderella. I love the illustration of the girl on the UK one. I just think with the dark hair, the butterfly clips as a little detail against the gold font. I just love, 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 love the illustration of this cover. Whereas the US one, even though I love the purple, the I feel like the tones are a little bit too dark. I wish maybe the illustration of the girl was a bit brighter and like maybe she was wearing a blue dress against the purple backdrop. I just think that the shadows create like a little weird illusion. It's still a very lovely illustration. <laughs> this bit of hair. It's still a very lovely illustration. I My eye just goes to the UK one a bit more. Um, maybe because I love like blue and teal. That's like my favourite colour. So like it would automatically stand out so I would give this to the UK I don't know what points we're on at the moment but that's another one for the UK and um, we have 
Slay by Brittany Morris. So the US cover and the UK cover. The US cover is kind of white with a girl glitching with Slay in pink. I wish that the pink only stayed in the font and that the girl was purple against the white glitchy background. I feel like because the pink trails into the the picture of the girl it draws away from like standing out whereas the UK one it has the picture of the girl front and center um glitching at the side with Slay. Again I wish Slay was in a brighter pink so it stood out. I think I'm going to have to give this to the US because even though I wish they'd done something slightly different, the title does stand out a lot more in the US cover than it does in the UK cover. So I am going to give this one to the US um, because it just stands out a bit better. Call It What You Want by Bridget Kemmerer. I'm sorry if I said that wrong. So this is the UK cover. This is the US cover. I... I don't like the US cover. I'm so in the UK cover I'm not a fan of pink. I think that it does its job, pink background, blue font, it catches your eye, it's a little bit boring, it's a little bit bland, but I do think that it goes this UK cover would drag my attention more than the drag my attention more than they call it no drag my attention more than the US cover because the font doesn't seem loud enough, the hearts on the background seem very dull colours against the dull background. I think I'm not a fan of either of these covers if I'm being totally honest but if I had to pick I would pick the UK cover and that is the cover that is currently on my shelves. Then we have what If It's Us by Becky Albertalli and Adam Silveira, UK, US. I, the US does a simple illustration with the font right down the middle, the author's name at the top. I like that it's simple. Um, it tells you pretty much all you need to know about the story. It's got the cityscape and it's got the two main characters on the front of the page. So I do very much like the simplicity of this. Again, these characters in a different kind of illustration in the UK cover, um, they're both at opposite sides of the poster flyer that has like bits ripped off the bottom. I get it, I get what it was trying to do, but I believe the simpler, more sleek version of this cover has me because it's a boy meets boy, it's in the city, um, one of them's carrying a box so they must have met somewhere where boxes come, post office or maybe one's moving, meet cute. So this tells me all I need to know whereas the UK one doesn't tell me all I need to know because again it's just a flyer, it just says what it says. It, the boys, the two main characters aren't even on the same level. I got to give this one to the US and yeah I have the UK cover but most of these I have the UK cover because it's just easier to get and it's also a lot cheaper uh there is only very few books that I would pay money to have in a different edition so most of the covers that I own are UK even if I like the US cover better I'm just not willing to pay all that money I want to read the book so the cover kind of has to not really matter as long as I get the material that's on the inside. So the final book I have here is My Dark Vanessa by Kate Elizabeth Russell. This was one of my favourite books of last year. It is a hard hitting book but I highly recommend but beware of content triggers warnings if you do pick this up. So this is the UK cover, this is the 
US cover and the UK cover it has this kind of peach background with the red hair I like it minimal minimally like it I was always to say I like it but like I'm looking at it now and I'm like yeah it's not it's not actually that nice whereas the US cover has this girl in black and white very extreme close-up with a but with a hand and the butterfly it's a tone that the US cover takes I prefer it it's a quite a hard dark story and the black and white and the up close of the face I just think this looks more interesting than just hair on a peach background I really do, do think that the US cover is better although the UK cover does have like this really beautiful blue um when it's naked like so I do enjoy it when it's like not got the dust jacket on but if I had the choice I would have picked the US cover up over this one okay so that is all for today I will put the total tallies here whoever won yay um I hope you played along let me know what your points were down below um comment any of the covers that you have seen that are different in the UK and the US and I can do another one of these um I love judging books by the cover because it's not something I really do while I'm picking books to read I judge it by the synopsis so getting to judge books by the cover um is just for fun is great so if you have any that you would like me to do in the next video please comment below i hope you have a great day stay safe and i'll see you next time pack up my summer in a ziplock bag old maps and tchotchkes photographs said this and that i'll write myself a letter so that i'll